the spider's web. And uh, new series starting today uh, on uh, well, it's another painting video on the Space Hulk series. And this time it's the librarian. There he is, all done and dusted. So if you want to see how I painted this, continue with the video. Um, this is this has taken quite a while to do, I'm afraid. Um, I've shot it um, as a continuous video thingy, uh, but it's taken me about a week or so for, to actually finish doing it because I've been a bit busy with uh, helping my dad, or helping my sister decorate at my dad's and uh, with the uh, radio station, this, that, and the other. So that's why um, you've not see, or well, you've not had much from me new over the past uh, couple of weeks apart from unboxing videos but uh, that's it. I've got my act together finish it off today so um, here it is hope you enjoy the videos <laughs> see you later librarian and as with all librarians they are blue well the uniform rather is blue so we aren't going to be using as you can guess um, the Carol Burr Crimson wash we're going to be using a different colored wash I wonder if you can guess what different colored wash we're going to be using that's right <laughs> Drakenhof Nightshade. So we're going to be going over every part of the librarian with this because it will give a nice shadow detail for all the blue areas that's going to be on this model. Um, I'll even do this, I'll even do only skin as well. I'll do everywhere so I know where I've been, where I haven't and I don't really have a picture to work from um, because where we would normally have the pictures on the back of the uh, mission book was it the rule book I can't remember exactly which one it is um, there isn't one on the for this character so I'm going to have to have a look through the books to see if there is an actual picture of this guy to work from. If not, then I'm going to have to make it up as I go along, which, to be honest, is okay by me. <laughs> I don't mind that at all, as if you've seen any of my videos before, you will know. So, I do know that, as I say, librarians have blue armor. Um, um, so um, I'll be sticking with blue but other than that if I, as I say if I can't find a, a new uh, reference photos for this then I'm going to have to go with how I feel because I know with this it's uh, um, with the Space Marines it actually gives you the no with the other not necessarily with I'll start this one again. I know with the other Terminators it gives you a bit of a history, a bit of a biography of the characters and um, shows you the um, shoulder pad markings. Each one is different. This one I'm not too sure because I can't remember seeing a, a picture like that of him but we will see what we can find. That's until this is done. Uh, 
um, we can't really do much. So the most important part is the in fact what the hell sod it, I'm gonna go over it all. I'm not faffing about. I'm not picking and choosing where I'm gonna wash everywhere it gets it. Um, I can as long as I've got a thin wash and it's not picking up too heavily on flat areas, it's not pooling too much then. There shouldn't be any problem at all. So I'm not getting the, the paint, I'm not getting the wash on the brush as heavily as I usually do. But as you can see it's giving a nice blue tint to the grey primer. And uh, just in case you haven't seen which primer I'm using, I think I showed you that in the first video for the uh, Space Hulk um, series where I painted Brother Zyle. Okay, so that is the basics, the main model done. And now it's his weapon, or his, his left arm rather. And as you can see I've embedded the gun into um, sticky tack so I can hold it properly. Um, I'm not really too fussed about uh, going over the gun with this because like the um, with the Zyle video, or Zyle video, whatever, however it's pronounced, um, the weapon's going to be black, so not really um, going to have much in the line of the uh, this blue going through. So, where we are. In case you hadn't noticed, there are skulls down at the bottom there, and there's a, an aquila and more skulls at the back. Um, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna paint those. No point. I can do them um, when I get round to that area. Just noticed a little bit of pooling on that shoulder, which is something we don't want. I will. I smooth it out a little bit more and there we have it. That will do nicely, thank you very much. I can miss a bit there. There we go. So we'll have to leave that to dry now and when we come back we'll get to painting the base coat. Okay, see you later. Okay, I'm back. And these have now dried. I've had a look and I have found um, a small photograph of him knocking about. Uh, I wish I could find a decent size one I could see properly uh, what it looks like but this small photograph may be as best as I can hope for. So let's get cracking shall we. Now what I have found out is that both shoulder pads are red. Okay so what I'm going to have to do now is apply a little bit of white to both shoulder pads so what I'm going to do is I'll add that to my palette and I will just apply this it doesn't have to be really spot on because it's it's going to be covered by the white uh, by the red. Um, it's just to take off the the darkness of the blue in this. So we'll do this first of all before we do anything else. Okay. 
and then once this dries we can go on to um, painting other parts now I'm just hoping this will actually work because I've just thought of something else else I should have could have done instead which is paint it brown rather than red uh, rather than white but we'll see how it goes if it doesn't work terribly well I can always go over with a little bit of a brown color like a scrag brown or something like that okay um, I'll do that on the shoulder I'll do that on the shoulder pads um, yes I know there's all the detail on this shoulder pad but once we can get um, this sorted then um, hopefully it's going to be plain sailing from then on um, okay so the shoulder pads are red to show that he's a librarian of the Blood Angel chapter. Um, and there we are. So it doesn't have to be a perfect uniform white, it's just uh, we can all, well, we can always sort something out with that a little later. Um, We're just trying to cover up and hide all the bluish colour. Anywhere else it's red. Okay, yeah. Right, so there's that part there that's red, but that's already grey, so we're not bothered doing that. There is one other part that is red. <coughs> and that I'm just going to do in a brownish colour because um, I'm going to mix a bit of brown and red to do that part later. So, I so said that's that's still to come. Okay so first off we're looking at a flesh colour and for this fella I've decided on Kizzler Flesh and we can actually mix some of this in with the whites to make it just a little bit paler. Um, it doesn't have to be um, What's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't have to be um, pure Kizzler flesh. Because we'll be going over this again, don't forget, with um, Agrax Earthshade, Caribou Crimson, whatever. As a wash, we're going to have to give it a wash, so, which is what I'm saying. So we'll just go over with the uh, Kizzler flesh to start off with. Um, so this is watered down and that's that now apparently this fella became Mephiston I think whether that's right or not I don't know I'm not well up on Blood Angel lore and history but uh, that was interesting and what I we'll also do with this colour as well is we'll do the back of this we might as well while it's mixed save wasting it mixed it's a bit rude to it's a bit rude to waste it <laughs> okay so we just try and get in and paint all of that the chances are we will miss some areas because of the way the model is but if I can get it all done or as much of it as possible don't worry about getting it on other parts of the model because that will be turted up 
um, again when uh, we come round to doing all the details but I think that is it for that colour now it's just the skulls about his person and we'll do this horned skull here and this colour four skulls and that was going to be the same colour as the the cross so we're not going to be doing that one and now what are we doing okay so we have some metallic parts in the around well in the area around his face um, so what I want to do is not a detailed brush, I want the fine detail brush. And with this I'm going to use Abaddon Black. Ta -da. And we'll go around those areas. Sound. These areas are going to be metallic. So it's purely a case of applying this base coat so that we've got something for the the silver colour that we're going to be dip putting over it. The um, what you call it, iron breaker. To highlight. And just all be part of his psychic hood. There we go. I may need to Come in again with the Kisler Flesh Mix just to tidy up a little bit. But as for that, not a problem. And then we need to go in there and paint the, these little grooves here in black um, what else is the there's another area here that we can do black like so and here Anywhere else I can see. Um, I 
I'm just looking at things I can to do with this fine detail brush while I have it. I'm going to be moving over to a larger brush for other bits. Um, when I don't need this detail brush anymore, so that's about now. So I'll clean this out, give it a bit of a dry, and then put the tip back on it before getting our brush formerly known as detail brush out and giving some more black to the model we do this red well the back of the knee here I can think of I've just realised I've missed a little bit of what should have been the um, Gizzler Flesh and White mix but never mind and what I'm going to do instead for this fella is well, when I say instead I mean as well as I'm just going to paint these cables coming here these are going to be black but I'm going to be highlighting with a different colour probably now this actually shows it as black and yellow stripes but there's nothing actually to show where the yellow would go, there's no separators here, so I'm not going to bother doing that but I will do something about the colours on that ok um, all this area is going to be black as well might as well do that while I'm here and the black area is done at the same time I will paint where I can and then um, I can come back to it later when I remove it from its holding oops sorry I hadn't realized I'd gone off camera then I apologize for that um, anyway as I was saying The nozzle of the the, uh, the nozzle the barrel of these guns are um, going to be black as well, but I can't paint them yet because the as I say embedded into the um, sticky tack. Well, I can I can paint the rest of it. So I said when I can get get them out properly, I'll. Uh,
and get them that part done as well. That part so that I've just painted around is going to be red. Okay. Okay, so that's the black part finished with. I think. <laughs> and now what I'm going to do is I don't know what I'm going to do. What am I going to do? What 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 oh yes. I was going to mix a little bit, a touch more fizzle of flesh for one area that needs It's a touch of kizzle of flesh, a touch of white. We'll try and get the same colour, same shade. That will do, f looks like it will do fine. And it's just this area here that needs doing. I said it wasn't much. Just do the, as well. 